Hello everybody. Today Sylvie and I are in the village of Grey Yeldon which is right up in the north of the county of Essex, just a few miles from the border of Suffolk. Uh, and today we're going to take a walk out to the neighbouring village of Little Yeldon and then work our way around and then back down to Castle Headingham before we get back to uh, Great Yeldon. Now, now there's two significant things that we want to see in Great Yeldon. Firstly, there's a thousand year old remains of an oak tree which was mentioned in the Doomsday Book. And there's also a lovely distillery which Sylvie can't wait to visit, can you Sylv? <laughs> anyway, Let's get going. After a quick look round, Sylvie and I take the Tilbury Road north out of the village. About half a mile on, we turn right onto a little road called Mill Lane. This lane terminates about halfway along its length and becomes a footpath. Eventually, this brings us out onto the Little Yeldon Road. When we arrive in Little Yeldon, we turn right onto the North End Road. The hamlet of North End is only about three quarters of a mile away and here we stop for a brief rest before taking the footpath southwards towards our next destination. About three quarters of a mile down the path, we stop to admire this lovely red coloured building, which is Priestfield's Farm.
Just past the farm we take a left turn on the path and keep heading south towards Castle Headingham. This leg of the walk takes us a mile and a half before we eventually arrive in the village of Castle Headingham. As we enter the village, we take a right turn along Bailey Street. A hundred yards on, we come to the main entrance of Headingham Castle. Sadly, owing to the lockdown, the castle was closed to the public, but Sylvie and I couldn't resist going in just for a quick look at what is undeniably the best preserved Norman keep in Britain. After that, we head down into the village itself. The castle's outer bailey originally extended right out into the village itself, but as the castle's defensive purpose waned, the village expanded. Today there are many buildings surviving from the medieval and Tudor period around the village. After an enjoyable walk around the village, we head back towards Great Yeldham. We head northwest along the Kirby Hall Road for about half a mile before taking the footpath across country.
the footpath takes us about a mile before we arrive at the magnificent looking 13th century Spain's Hall on the outskirts of Great Yeldham. All in all, we've walked about eight and a half miles. Now back in the village, we take a look at the remains of the thousand year old Great Yeldham Hoke, situated in the village centre, and this tree is actually mentioned in the Doomsday Book. Before we leave Great Yeldham, Sylvie and I take a look at the village's other main attraction. This is Great Yeldham Hall, which has become home to a rather popular distillery. Due to the lockdown, the distillery was currently closed to tourists, who often come here by the coach load. But we were fortunate enough to bump into the owner, who was more than pleased to open up the little shop and let us look inside the distillery. Oh. Sylvie's found something she likes. <laughs> Here you go. Social distancing and all that. <laughs> 7,000 bottles an hour. Yeah. Wow. So you have a rough down here next to the stills. Well, Sylvie wanted to pose with her bottle of vodka beside the stills where it was made. Well, uh, Sylvie's pleased with uh, the English toffee vodka. We had a sample in there. Wow, it was lovely. You can't wait, can you? No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 